let's talk peanut butter. I love peanut butter and I use it a lot, but sometimes I also try to use peanut flour mixed together with um, liquid and salt and maybe a little bit of sweetener to make a less energy dense source of peanut butter. I do keep peanut butter in the house. This is a jar of Aldi's organic creamy peanut butter that has nothing in it but organic peanuts and sea salt. And sometimes one way to pull back on the fats is just to pour off the layer of the um, peanut oil that has risen to the top and then stir up your peanut butter and you're just going to have a little denser peanut butter to work with. But to pull back even on pull back more fat, you can make your own peanut butter. And I'm going to show you how to do that um, using a recipe created by Canada and she's called Coach Canada and she's named her peanut butter mixture the Real Deal Peanut Butter. I've pulled up her recipe on my iPad and I'll be working on from this, but I will also link this recipe in the description box so you can add, access it. I'll point the camera down so you can see me assemble Canada's Real Deal Peanut Butter. All right, we are gonna start with one cup of peanut flour. So I will load this up with, this is a half cup measure, so I'm gonna be doing two of these. One, a half cup, one half cup, and two half cups. There's my cup of peanut flour. And then I need a half of a cup of nut milk. So I'll pour that in. Half a cup of nut milk. And I need two tablespoons. She's calling for gentle sweet, but I use allulose. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of allulose instead of two tablespoons of gentle sweet. I find them pretty comparable measure for measure, but I will taste this after I get it mixed up. And if it doesn't taste sweet enough, I will add more allulose. And then I need two heaping tablespoons of collagen. So heaping tablespoons. Well, I guess that's about as heaping as I can get. Heaping tablespoons. I would call that a very generous three tablespoons of collagen. She calls for a third of a teaspoon of salt. I have a half a teaspoon here and a third is more than a half. So let's make that mound up a little bit. A third teaspoon. No, yes, a third is more. Okay, and then a half a teaspoon of butter or buttery coconut oil. Well, I have butter in my butter dish, so I'll put that in. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Thank you, Laura Dean, for my bottle of vanilla so many years ago that I just keep refilling. Still got the old beans in it. I've added some beans to it. There's half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I went a little bit over. Now, this recipe calls for a quarter of a tablespoon. So a quarter of this measure of heavy cream or silk heavy cream, silk brand heavy cream, if you wanna have this dairy free. Well. I don't have heavy cream and I don't have silk heavy cream. So we're just gonna go with what I have. And I'm gonna mix it up and see how it turns out. I figure that a missing quarter tablespoon of heavy cream isn't going to be a material deal. And, uh, but we'll tell by the consistency of it when it's mixed up what I think. So this just pops on. And I start mixing it up, and we'll see what we get. All right, 
I'm gonna open it up and look. Hmm. Let me get a little spatula. Let's see what I think of this stuff. Well, it's got a nice creamy consistency. It looks like I didn't quite get all the flour on the bottom mixed in. So let me move this blade and then I'll poke around down here at the bottom and see. No, oh, it's just a little bit. I think I would like this a little stiffer. So, I mean, it's a, it's peanut butter consistency, but a little bit thin. Let me taste it, see what I think. I think Canada's had this recipe out for in circulation for quite a while, but I've never made it because I've always taken the lazy route of just taking peanut flour and water and salt, maybe a little stevia, and mixing it up the way I wanted it, whether I wanted it dry or really runny for like a dip to have with an apple slice. This is runnier like I would have with an apple slice. I do have to admit, it tastes better than when I just mix up peanut flour, water, salt, and stevia. It tastes a lot better. But I want it denser, so I'm gonna mix in some more peanut flour. I think what I'm going to add, well, I have a tablespoon measure in here. Might as well be a little more precise. I think I'm gonna add two more tablespoons. And remember, I did not put in the uh, quarter of a tablespoon of heavy cream, so I don't feel too guilty about adding in more peanut flour. And this may give me the consistency that I want. So I'm gonna pop the immersion wand back on here and give it a run. You can hear the motor running a little bit harder. Oh, I like that. Look at that, definitely a denser product. Okay, this is gonna make me happy. Yes, I like that. And once that's refrigerated, that's gonna be even thicker. Okay, this is gonna make me very happy. So I am very pleased with Coach Canada's Real Deal Peanut Butter. And now I'm gonna transfer it from here into a jelly jar and um, be, be right back. Well, there I go. I labeled it on the top, peanut butter, and I labeled it on the front, Coach Canada's Real Deal Peanut Butter. We'll see what my husband thinks. I wonder if he'll call this the chemistry set.